Hi folks again, I thought I'd do another video this time on my solar panel I fitted a couple of years ago. Uh, what I'm showing you here is a corner bracket and then <clears throat> a side bracket, a corner bracket at the other end and then there's another corner bracket at the top, another side panel bracket, another corner panel bracket, I bought a corner. Um, I've used stainless steel bolts in the corners and along the edges as well, on all of them, matter of fact. And they're stuck to my roof using Saltafix. I think it's a f the 515 one, I'm not too sure. 515, it's a really, really powerful, sticky one. You um, have to clean the roof first and then you have to use an activator um, to make sure that they bond to the roof properly because I didn't want to actually uh, drill a holes through the roof. Um, if you can see the fire end just on the aerial which needs a really good clean and there's the two cables which is positive and negative coming down and it runs and it goes through my chimney if you can see that over there and the idea of that is I don't use the um, extraction unit inside the motorhome because it actually drains the battery quite a lot it's a quite a powerful motor uh, and then sorry a noisy car went past uh, and then it goes down inside my cupboard and I fed it and I've used um, sticky back, uh, I don't know what you call it, a conduit to take it to the actual control panel which I'll show you inside now. It's an absolute doddle to fit uh, if, you, if you do the, the sticky bit way, uh, the glue. Uh, it's been on here two years, I've had it, it speeds up to 75, 80 mile an hour. Uh, well, my son did, <laughs> very funny. Uh, and it won't come off, I mean, you ripped the roof off before this came off. Uh, it's it's very very powerful glue, um, so I've got no worries. Like I said, I've been on there for two years and it hasn't budged an inch. It hasn't, but it can't go anywhere. Okay, so stainless steel bolts. Uh, I bought the solar panel. You can buy them as a kit. You can buy the whole kit, which I would advise. So I bought my solar panel separate. Then I bought the edges. Then I bought the. Edge. It cost quite expensive at the time, about 265 quid. But you can buy a complete kit now for about 165 quid, including the control panel unit. Um, I'll show you that inside now. I'm um, sorry, just before we go down, what I've used is wet wipes from Aldi's or Lidl's, so where you get them from, uh, antiseptic wipes, doesn't matter that, and I just make sure you clean all the algae off. I do it about once a month if I can get up here, for an extended ladder, and just clean it off and then dry it off with a kitchen towel, whatever you've got at hand really, or even a cloth, it doesn't matter, but kitchen towel's good. It takes any algae off and then so it works at its best performance then. Okay, I think you can see that. This is an, this is the Acuv, Ac, activator, activator. And what it does, it actually cleans the surface of the roof after you've washed it. You've got to wash it first. And um, what this tends to do then is uh, it makes sure that the bonding stuff that you use, the glue you use, actually does bond the roof. It, it cleans it and uh, does an excellent, excellent job, like I said. It doesn't come off. So. On that, so it comes down from my air vent, like I said, through here. So I've got them coming through here. Um, I think, there they are. I don't know if you can see them. Let me just get a torch, I'll show you. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So the only thing is I didn't want to drill a hole through the roof, of course, so I don't want any more leaks. I don't use this. It still, it still works, but um, it's, it's so powerful that it, when, you, when you watch your um, bolt meter you'll see that it sort of drains it quite a lot. And I usually I cook outside, I don't do very very little cooking inside and if we do cook inside, see these things, they're miracle things. These are called window latches and we open the window. So a waste of time, waste of time. And then open the vents as well. I've got three vents in the roof so we just open them. That's fine. So, so it comes through the cupboards. I've tacked it and stapled it through a piece of sticky back conduit into there, into another cupboard which is full of, well, it was a wine rack cupboard, but um, we don't, it's not enough, big enough for our, our wine consumption. So let's see if we need the torch again. Okay. So there she is. This is a new one. 
Uh, the old one I think overheated. I've still got it, but we had a fault on the power. So this one is quite a nifty little... You can see him working there. Sorry about the reflection of the light. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, this is 20 quid off eBay. So I've got the two cables coming in from the solar panel. Positive, negative. Make sure you get these around the right way, okay? Then I've got two cables leaving, positive and negative. And they go down. And then back here, I've got to get some new conduit, the conduit to fill these in. And they go around the back of the seats, down, and they go into this seat here. And then the below there is the battery. Um, and all I do is clamp them using G clamps onto positive and negative. That's all you need to do. You can fix them if you want to. I haven't got, I haven't got around to doing it. I don't think I need to, but they work well because the crocodile clips I used are extremely strong. Okay, the last two wires, which I've labeled up anyway, here, positive and negative again, is go, it goes to a cigarette lighter. And this is what failed. That is why I've changed. I've got another video how I changed that, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's easy to do. Uh, and so now I've got a 30 uh, amp uh, solar control panel unit and we'll see how that goes but it looks it, it's actually better because I had to put LED lights on the other one which were a bit bright at night especially when you're trying to kip so if you look at the button you can see that this one here is the power button when I switch that on this will activate you can see that one and it tells you there's power now going to the power output which is this here um, and then you can switch it off as well when you don't need it. But a lot at the moment I'm pushing through at 13.3 uh, volts from the solar panel. It's just getting dark and it? it's not getting dark, but it's. But there you go. Okay. Um, I will try and find the uh, Soltafix glue that I used because it is superb stuff. I'll put that in a link down below. I shall also put the link to the control box here. Um, if you're not prepared to buy them as a kit off eBay, um, I'll even if you want, or oh, well, I'll do that anyway, I'll find a reasonably good kit and I'll put the link to that down below as well. So the glue, the activator, uh, the control panel, and you might need extra cables. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would, that'd be great. And if you'd like to leave a comment in the boxes down below, that'd be great as well. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye.